everybody. We're going to start a unit on a measurement here today. So if you want to do like a unit title page um, to kind of separate this out from the angle stuff we've been working on, um, we're going to be working on measurement here for a while. So you want to make a whole title page about measurement, you may. And then like our first um, topic today is going to be metric units of distance. So go ahead and make that after your title page. Make that the title just for um, today's activity, and then unpause when you are ready to go. So a lot to connect today. i got to give you a lot of background information. So as we talk about measuring, the first thing to know, there's two sort of like systems we call them in measurement. There's the metric system, which is primarily used, is used a lot in science, and then it is used a lot in other countries. And then there's also, we call it here, like usually the customary system. And these are going to be the measurement, um, like the names of measurements that you're more used to. So the metric system, um, the, the main things we measure are like distance or length. So in metric system, that's done with things like meters, kilometers, centimeters, and things like that. Um, in the customary system, our system, and again, that's what you usually use in science, but in the U.S. we usually use things like feet, yards, you know, inches, miles, and things like that. So those are just two different sets of systems. In some units, in some countries they use these units, in some countries they use these units. Um, a lot we also measure like weight. In the metric system we measure weight in um, grams and kilograms primarily and in the customary system we usually measure them in like pounds ounces and tons and then in uh, we also measure what we call capacity that's like how much liquid um, does something hold um, and let's, I'll start in ours because you'll probably recognize these. Like capacity is like if you buy like milk or water or soda or something, like how much does it hold? So we usually measure in that in the U.S. and things like gallons. You've probably heard of quarts, um, things like that. Um, in the metric system, um, the units are, I am blanking on it for some reason right now. Uh, liters, that's right, like a two liter bottle, liters and milliliters. So that's what we're kind of talking about, like what kind of units they are. Um, so we're going to talk about distance or length today, in the uh, only in the metric system, not feet and yards and the things we use. So the primary like unit um, is called a meter in length, and you've probably seen a meter stick, they look like this. This is one meter. Um, this guy's holding one, so this is about how long it is. I have them in the room. You've probably seen them in class and other grades. So one meter is about that um, long. That's called the base unit. We'll get to what that means in a minute. So the base unit in um, the metric system for distance length is meters. Now you've also probably seen a meter stick, and if you notice, there's numbers on it. And if you go down here, it has these smaller numbers on it. So the whole thing is one meter. And then it's divided into smaller units. So this smaller unit here is called a centimeter. It's quite small. Um, sorry, my handwriting's really bad with my gizmo today. And then there's even smaller ones. Like if you look inside of here, um, there are even smaller ones. Those really small ones, those are called millimeters. They're very small. So centimeters and millimeters. What's cool about the metric system is it's all based on the number 10. So like if you take a meter stick, they've got the big numbers at the tens, right? It's divided into 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's divided into 10 what we call decimeters. We don't use those very often, but they do exist. A decimeter is like this far from the 0 to the 10. So there's 10 decimeters in one meter and then the decimeters divided into 10 centimeters so there's 10 centimeters in one decimeter and then there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter 
So everything's based on tens. So to get you used to kind of how these work, what they're like. So let's start with meters, the meter stick that that guy was holding. Um, the easiest way to remember that, that is about, not exactly, that's about how long it would be from one hand to the other if you put your hands out. Again, not exactly, but that's pretty close to one meter. Um, and that's for you, not really for me. So that's more like, you know, for a kid, their arms are about one meter. Mine, each of my arms is about one meter, but bigger than y'all. So that's about a meter. A guitar is about a meter. A baseball bat is about a meter, just so you kind of get used to that. All right? A centimeter, so there's like a hundred of these in one meter. A centimeter is about how wide your finger is, like this way. Not how long, how wide. So if you hold your finger up, that's about a centimeter. So if you needed to measure something in centimeters, that's an easy thing to use to kind of do it real fast. Um, a Cheerio is also about one centimeter across. All right, they're 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so they're really small. It's a, if you hold your finger up sideways, how wide your fingernail is, that's roughly one millimeter. Not, you know, again, always not exactly. Um, if you sharpen your pencil, that's about one millimeter across. So a millimeter is very, 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 very small. Um, and then there's also a distance called a kilometer or a kilometer. Those are quite far. That's a thousand meters. Um, and that's really, really far. A kilometer, I like to use people, right? Your arms are a meter, your finger is a centimeter, your fingernail is a millimeter. A kilometer is like if you took every student at RD Head and had them kind of stand like this, like hand to hand, that would, with their arms out, that would probably be about a kilometer. It's very far. Um, a kilometer is like three laps around the track is pretty close to a kilometer, or about a half a mile is pretty close to a kilometer. So it's a very far distance. And the metric system, instead of miles, um, they kind of use kilometers. So these are not, none of these are exact, but they're just so you can get an estimate. So your arms are a meter, your finger is a centimeter, your nail is a millimeter, and then every kid in the school holding hands is probably about a kilometer, like very far. Okay, so let's talk about changing. So the kind of questions you get um, involve changing them from one to the other. So here we go. So I'm going to tell you how to do this. So this says, KJ raised money for a charity 5K race. You've probably heard of a 5K. If you haven't, I'll tell you what it is. So if, you, if you've ever heard of a 5K, the K stands for kilometers. Kilometers. It's just a fast way of saying a five kilometer race. So remember, one kilometer is like all the kids at school holding hands lining up. It's about a half a mile. So the question is, how many meters did he run or walk in the 5K? We know he ran 5 kilometers, kilometers. Our question is, how many meters is that? So there's a neat way to remember this in the metric system. I have a, a, um, a mnemonic device to help you do this. Ready? So here's the mnemonic device. It's, uh, it's King Henry died. Then you have to do uh, like a space for the base unit for meters. Drinking chocolate milk. King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. And so what you'll what I have here is the K stands for kilo, kilometer. The H stands for hecto. We don't use that one, but it's another one. The D stands for deci, that decimeter. This is meter the base meter, uh, this deca, sorry, this is decimeter. Again, we don't use that one, but it's there. This is centimeter, and this is millimeter, right? You don't have to remember what all these stand for, but if you know King Henry died drinking chocolate milk, remember I said everything in the metric system is based on tens, right? There's 10 hectometers in a kilometer. There's 10 decameters in a hectometer. There's 10 meters in a decameter. There's 10 decimeters. So everything's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, right? So every time you move one unit, you're going to go by 10. So what we have here, we are given uh, 5 kilometers. So when I kind of do my King Henry died thing, 5 kilometers... And I want to know how many meters is that? That's my question, right? It says, 
how many meters did he run or walk in the 5K? He ran five kilometers, and I want to know this. So what I'm going to do, as I remember I told you before, you, when you move down here, you just keep multiplying by 10. There's 10 of these and one of these. There's 10 of these and one of these. And I'm just going to keep multiplying by 10 until I get to meters, which I erased. So 5 times 10 is 50. 50 times 10 is 500. And no longer a question. 500 times 10 equals 1,000. Or 5,000, rather. So he ran 5,000 meters. Those are the same distance. 5 kilometers is the same as 5,000 meters using my King Henry mnemonic. Pretty cool, right? All right, uh, open your math notebook and let's do one together. Oh, I put a uh, we do accidentally. I am so sorry. All right, so pause and write your question. Here's your question. It says, Dr. Dolber is about two meters tall. Not exactly, but about two meters tall. How many centimeters tall is he? How many millimeters tall is he? So that's what I want to figure out. I want to know two meters equals how many centimeters equals how many uh, millimeters. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So write that down, and that's our question to solve. Where I'm going to, big thing for you to write down. I need you to write down your mnemonic device, we call it. King Henry died base. If I haven't yet, i got a great vocabulary song about this. Drinking chocolate milk. King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. Again, good song. And those, the first letters all stand for something in King Henry Died Drinking Chocolate Milk. K is kilo, kilometer. H equals hecto, hectometer. Again, we don't really use that one if you want to put like a little X. It's not very common. The first D is dec a meter. Again, we don't use that very much. That's The base is meter. I'll put it in parentheses because it's not in the mnemonic device. Um, we use that a lot. Actually, let me do it like this. Let me erase that. And just write equals meter next to the blank. We do use that one a lot. We use kilo a lot. The second D is decimeter, like decimal. Deci. Um, it's like part of a meter. Uh, we don't really use that one much. Chocolate is centi. And milk is milli. We use both of those a lot, centimeter, millimeter, okay? So that's just what the words stand for. So I usually write it like this. I'll just do King Henry died base drinking chocolate milk. I write it like that. And so I'm going to start. I have two meters. That's in my question. So I just go write that kind of where it goes. Two by the right unit. Two meters. Meters is the base. And then each time I move down the chart, I'm multiplying by 10. There's 10 decimeters in a meter. There's 10 centimeters in a decimeter. And there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So the math is super easy if you know what to do. So 2 times 10 is 20 decimeters tall I am. Times 10 is 200 centimeters tall I am. And times 10 again is 2,000 millimeters tall I am. That makes me sound really, 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 really tall, doesn't it? I'm 2,000 millimeters tall. But that's the same as 2 meters. It's just a different unit. So I'm 2 meters tall. I'm 2 centimeters tall. And, oh, no, sorry. I'm 200 centimeters tall. And I'm 2,000 millimeters tall. So that is how you convert uh, metric measurements using the King Henry died drinking chocolate milk a mnemonic device. So what I hope you got out of this lesson is you can do that. You could easily change from one unit to another. And I also want you to have some idea of how big these units are. A meter is roughly your arms, a guitar, or a bat. Centimeters like your finger or a cheerio. Millimeters like your fingernail or a sharp pencil. And a kilometer is about a half a mile. It's really long. Okay? I am out of time, so i got to let you go. If you need to go back and watch these again to get a better idea of how it works,